Two hours ago, President Trump left Washington, D.C. He will not be at today's inauguration ceremony. He's on a plane on Air Force One headed to Florida. With the contested election in the past, many GOP leaders are now looking to the future. Joining us now, Washington State Republican Party Chair Caleb Heimlich. Caleb, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. It's good to see you. So I want to know how you feel this morning as we are getting ready to see Joe Biden being sworn in a man that you did not vote for. Yeah, I am. I'm hopeful. Uh, mainly I'm hopeful because I believe in America and I believe in Washington state. And as we're watching today, a peaceful transition of power, our country is clearly divided. The U.S. Senate is split 50-50. Republicans made gains in the U.S. House, and it's a very slim majority there. The presidential race was hotly contested. Uh, but I am optimistic that as Americans, we can focus on coming together uh, where we disagree. Uh, we can discuss those peacefully. And uh, that's certainly, as, as the Re Republican Party of Washington State, we are focused on highlighting the areas we disagree with the governor and doing everything we can to restore balance in Olympia and restore more balance in Washington, D.C. as we head to the next elections in 2022. I know that after the riot at the U.S. Capitol a couple of weeks ago, you denounced the violence. So what are your thoughts on how President Trump has handled himself in the last couple of weeks in office? Well, I think fundamentally as Republicans, we believe in the rule of law. We believe in law and order and, and Republicans have been denouncing violence for the last nine months. And I think it was important. And that's why I did immediately after the Capitol denounce violence when it when it appears that people on our side are perpetuating it. So as we look to the future, I think it's important that leaders on both sides, Republicans, Democrats, if we want to have unity, if we want to heal as a country, we at least need to agree at the basic level on what is not appropriate and using political violence to achieve any ends is not appropriate and should be condemned by all sides. And as we look towards the future, Caleb, what are you hoping to see from the incoming administration? Well, I think really uh, the, the onus is on uh, incoming President Biden to reach out. And as we're already seeing, he's talking about issuing 17 executive orders. That's not gonna bring people together. Uh, I think he needs to be working with Republicans in the U.S. Senate, working with Republicans in the House. If he truly cares about unity, if he truly cares about healing our country, then you have to allow dissenting voices and you have to allow the process to work its way through the legislature. And if you're governing by executive order, you're not doing that. And that's what we're seeing in Washington state with Governor Inslee making unilateral decisions 10 months into these lockdowns and into this pandemic. There's a bill in the state Senate today, a bipartisan bill with Senator Mark Mullet, who's a Democrat, Senator John Braun, to reopen our state, to open restaurants, to open gyms. And so I think as we move forward over the next two, two months and two years, Republicans are gonna be vocal about the areas we disagree and the voters are gonna have a say in 2022. And I think if history is any indication, the president's party always loses seats. And so I'm optimistic that Republicans can have more of a voice in Olympia and more of a voice in Washington, D.C. in the days, weeks, months, years ahead. Caleb Heimlich, Washington State GOP Chair, thank you very much for your time this morning. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.